whatever you do, it should please Me is, the, is one of the ways, it should please Me. That's one of the signs. So how do we do it? Put Me in your heart. Just try to put Me in your heart, it's very simple. I am before you now, I am in person. I was trying to give Realization to one of my relations yes, today and I said that you don't close your eyes. He said, no, I'm not looking at your face because when I see you, I feel you are my aunt, but I'm just looking at your feet so that I shouldn't feel any more that you are my aunt. You are very great and your face is the one that puts me into illusions. He could see, it's a Mahamaya, he said, only at your feet I look and through your feet only I can get over this barrier, this feeling. In the same way, when I'm a Mahamaya, I know I am, I had to be. But you have to put My feet into your heart. just My feet into your heart. Because photo, face, everything might be an illusion, might be by seeing My face you do not get over your barriers. To say, I must see Mother, I must do this, Mother must come to My house, she must have food at My place, she must visit My home. All this is so stupid, I cannot understand what's the matter with these people. Mother, please come in My heart, let Me clean My heart so that You are there. Put Your feet into My heart. Let Your feet be worshipped in My heart. Let Me not be in delusion. Take Me away from illusions. Keep Me in reality. Take away the sheen of superficiality. Let Me enjoy Your feet in My heart. Let Me see Your feet in My heart. Only such people, even Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha have done that. Don't you think you have to do it? So humble down yourself, humble down yourself in your heart, humble down in your heart, enjoy your humility, enjoy your virtues. The greatest virtue of a Sahaja Yogi is humility. Now so many things you have seen to convince you, but in no way it can mean any kind of subjection, because what subjection you can give Me? Think of that. When every subjection is a blessing, what subjection you are giving? Every feeling in the heart is a blessing. Just, just now you feel it and you feel the joy in your heart. Then what is your subjection about what? Huh, I can understand people who are just newly calm, who are good for nothing, just... But you are not on the periphery. But some of them do go into periphery in no time. You give them some work, finished. If I am sweet to someone, finished. If I see someone, finished. I mean, this is too much. I can't even be nice to you. If you do any mistakes or anything, then you feel, then you get your left vision. You've done your mistake, all right, finish it. You love Me, 
maybe there's something wrong in the love or maybe something has happened, doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to be cautious, I'm not going to make any mistakes. How could I do this mistake? Because I, I was not fully in love. If I had loved something, I would have not done such a mistake. All right, so develop your love. No, you will do, I feel guilty because I've done such a thing. So you miss this and that both. So your mistake becomes a barrier again. Don't feel guilty about it. We have to progress further. Forget the past, forget the past, forget the past. We have to go further. We have to be serious people. When we talk, we should talk with that dignity of that awe. That's very important. And once you develop that awe, your ekadasha will disappear. Ekadasha will disappear. Just think of the awe. See the silence and the joy and the the, the joy of the awe is deep, very deep like a sea. See, on superficial level is very turbulent, but inside is silent, silent, silent. Feel that depth. Without awe you cannot go down. 